Hey guys, so there's a lot of topics that I, that I talk about and I talk to you guys about the theory but then sometimes it just doesn't really get into people's heads what I'm saying. It's like you sit there and you listen to the videos, you listen to the words coming out of my mouth and then it's like, yeah, but I don't really understand how to, how to put that into practice in real life. So the big thing I keep trying to hammer into you guys is this whole idea of self-study. You need to self-study, 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 self-study. Now back in the days, if if you wanted to self-study, um, I have to say, probably one of the greatest resources ever invented were Dummies Books. Dummies Books were great. Again, 10 years ago, uh, when YouTube didn't exist, uh, there weren't a lot of blog posts, there weren't a lot of those types of things out there. If you wanted to find information quick, you went out there and just grabbed a Dummies Book, right? That is how we used to do it. Nowadays, the way to do it is to go to YouTube uh, or something like that, plural site, one of these providers that has video content, and simply watch or listen to the content that is there. Uh, this is good for two reasons. One, it's good for self-study, and since it's on YouTube, if it's YouTube, it's free, and if it's one of those other things, it's a reasonable price. Uh, so it's good self-study that way, so you don't have to go to classes and that type of thing. But the other reason that this is good, especially if you go to YouTube for your content, is you get to learn about the subject areas uh, that are currently valuable. Now, one of the problems is, is when you go uh, out to get a college degree or once you go out to get a certification, realistically, you're learning old technology, right? Technology had to technology had to be created. Then it had to go into the mainstream. Then these colleges or institutions had to figure out that people wanted to know this material. Then these institutions had to actually come up with a curriculum for this material. That can take a long time. Then they had to get enough people. Then they had to get teachers. They had to get the facilities in order to teach the material. Then they had to bring people into the class. And then they had to actually teach you. So by the time you graduate, right, <laughs> technology has been out a long time. It may actually be going downhill. So what's great is if you go to someplace like YouTube, it is very, as I show you guys, it's very inexpensive to create content on YouTube. Uh, so it's easy to throw content up. And so since it's so easy to throw content up, when you go to YouTube, many times you're learning like cutting edge stuff. But one of the questions is though, you know, so how do you figure out, you know, what you should learn on YouTube if you're going to be using YouTube uh, to, to self-study. And what I say is you should go to the websites of the major vendors, and most of the major vendors actually have long-form content about their material. So if you see, I have my nice little uh, MacBook Air here. It's like a four or five-year-old MacBook Air. It is too old for me to use for, for normal stuff because I own a MacBook Pro now. But what's really great is I went to Amazon, right? So I've been talking to you guys about hybrid cloud infrastructure. I believe hybrid cloud infrastructure isn't the future. I believe it is the now, but it's a kind of a complicated subject area. You have to figure out about Aurora and Lambda and all these different words, figure out what's going on. So uh, if you go to the Amazon, the AWS YouTube channel, they have all of their videos from their reInvent conference that just happened like a month ago. So you can go there and they literally have something like 30 hours of video about all of their different products and all of these different use case scenarios to explain to you why you should care. Like one of the things like the mind blow I shared at the link today is they, they had a full, it was like a 40 minute presentation on using AWS Lambda for cron jobs. Boosh. I know some of you guys are like, what the hell's Boosh for? What the fuck's Lambda, right? And so Lambda, Lambda is AWS's compute service, right? So compute, you know, processing and doing things. Um, and so basically, uh, with, with Lambda, uh, you don't care what it is. It's no longer a Windows server. It's no longer a Linux server. It's no longer a Unix server. It's no longer Ubuntu versus Red Hat. It is just compute. And so what's really awesome is you can actually fire, you can fire scripts through a Lambda compute to affect your other servers so that your cron and your scheduled work, uh, scheduled tasks and all that that have to be done on your servers, you don't have to worry about configuration failures, you don't have to worry about virus failures, you don't have to worry about any of that. All of those scheduled tasks are actually being, being run by Lambda, which is just pure compute, and it is like amazing, right? And so how you learn about that kind of stuff is you go to YouTube and you watch the videos. But one of the questions that then comes up is you know, like you sit there and you say, well, Eli, pfft, man, 30, 40 hours of video. And that's just for Amazon. That's just for one conference. How do you sit there? How do you watch all of it? 
And how I watch this content, how I keep up with so much of this, is basically I listen to it the same way most of you guys listen to music or you listen to Rush Limbaugh or you listen to, to a baseball game, right? Now, as I talk about in many of my videos, a lot of times when we talk uh, a lot, you know, on videos, the, the, the words we use, there's a lot of fluff here. We say a lot of things that don't really matter. So you don't have to focus on everything. So what I do is I set up my little computer here. Uh, I turn it on to some 50 hour, two hour long, you know, conference or whatever, while I'm sitting here coding away at silicondiscourse.com. So while I am doing work, while I am doing the work that gets me paid, I am listening to the technology that I should be talking about in another month or two. So this is the way that I can do work and learn at the exact same time. And if, it te if, if there is nothing that we shouldn't do as technology professionals, it is multitasking. We should be doing a couple of things at once. Uh, so this is what I do. So like last week, I was like on a Guy Kawasaki trip. Um, Guy Kawasaki was the, was the first evangelist for, for Mac, for Apple. And so I just started listening to him. So I spent like five days uh, listening to like Guy Kawasaki. If you go to uh, YouTube, he has like 10 or 20 of these hour, two hour long um, uh, speeches that he's done. And so you can just plug that on in the background. You listen to what he's talking about on social media and marketing and all that. And a hell of a lot of it's fluff. A hell of a lot of, you know, you got a lot of fluff in there. You got a lot of ideas that I think are kind of stupid, you know, you kind of just throw away, but then there's always those nuggets. There's that 10% if you're like, wow, that's absolutely amazing, right? So this is it. So this is the self-study trick. Basically, what I want you guys to be thinking about is go out to, to basically go to YouTube, really. Look for the vendors, again, Amazon, Juniper, Cisco, Microsoft, uh, any of these places, conferences, uh, LeWeb, uh, TechCrunch, uh, Interop, if they have something. Go there, look for their long-form videos, look for their like 30 to hour long videos. Just, just turn it on, just turn it on, put it on the background just like you would a baseball game, go about doing your work, and you would be surprised what you can learn simply while you're doing the other work that actually gets you paid. So again, this is all real world stuff. Whenever you see me outside of the orange clothes, uh, the reason that I do this is to kind of show you this is like what I'm actually doing in life. And so it really is. I'm really sitting here right now, uh, futzing away at silicondiscourse.com uh, while I have this on in the background. So I am building out silicondiscourse.com as I'm learning about hybrid cloud infrastructure. If that, if that is not the day in the life of a geek, man, I don't know what is.